go. Okay, so back here in the back of the room, um, there is the student center. I know it's kind of hard for you to see that sign up there. There's a little bit of a glare, but it says student center. And basically everything from there down um, is for your use. Um, I told you guys several times that being organized is a life skill that I want you to leave this class with, and I give you every tool to help keep you organized. Anytime you need tape, three hole punches, markers, crayons, colored pencils, pens, pencils, um, you know, paper clips, whiteouts, any of that stuff, staple pullers, you, you name it, I probably have it back here. You come back here, okay? Um, I, if for every one thing I have on my desk, I have three things back here for you. So if the cabinet is labeled, um, just look at the label. So, you know, we have highlighters, we have colored pencils, we have markers, and we have crayons in these drawer stacks, okay? Um, we also have extra pens and pencils. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about coming to class and not being prepared. I get it. Sometimes you come to class and you're just not prepared like you feel like you should be. Um, and you forgot your pencil or you left it in your last class or you let somebody borrow it. I get that you have those days. So I have pens and pencils that have flowers on them. Okay? And um, I have these flowers on here for a reason. One year in the first semester I went through 1,500 pencils because I didn't have them marked. And lots of people forget their stuff, but they also, without really realizing what they're doing, they stick them in their bag and they take them with them every single day. So when I started putting flowers on there, it got, it got um, to the place where I was having less people take these. They're for you to use. If you're not prepared one day, please, by all means, borrow one of these. But that means put it back at the end of the day when you're done. Um, so there's a few pens and a few pencils in these drawers for you to be able to use. Um, other things that you might want to use, um, you know, paper clips, all of these things are also labeled. There's paper clips, there's staple, extra staples in here, there's tape dispensers and staplers and three hole punches. Um, also, you know, staple removers. Um, and then the other very important thing about the student center is this is where you always turn in your work and pick it back up. So notice we have a turn in tray that you guys have been using. We also have a graded tray. I do not take work home to be graded. I value your work and I don't want to lose it. So I take your work from the tray to my desk to grade and it comes right back here and goes into the graded tray. So if we've turned it in and you're waiting for the grade, if you ever see it moved from that tray to this tray, you know you can come back and check for the grade or just wait until I pass them out. So this is where your work, work will come every time. Please do not set work on my desk. I do not want to be responsible for losing your work and I haven't lost a paper in the eight years I've been teaching and I don't plan on losing yours. So please, please make sure that you follow these. Um, in terms of other things that we have back here, if the cabinets are labeled, any of these cabinets, tissues or extra paper, or craft supplies, anything that's back here that's labeled is, you know, for your use if you need it. Asking for permission is always a bonus. Uh, but if it's not labeled, then you probably shouldn't be in the cabinet. Just kind of keep that as an FYI. So please, even if you're using this for another class, use the student center to help keep you organized. Bring other binders back here. Use it as it needs to be used to keep you organized.